jungle. All right, let's go up the stairs. There's something over there. I noticed. I just remembered. But I don't think it's something we can access to. Oh man, this is gonna eat me alive. Because I wasn't observant or paying much attention to it. Because <laughs> I got distracted by a bunch of other things. I'm just, I'm just gonna go there, waste some time, confirm my suspicions, and hope to the next area. It's the next area. That, that's something I don't have access to because, uh, yeah, there's an elevator. Good, 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 good to know. Good to know I wasted my time just a bit. Just a tad bit. Anyways, hey there, guys. Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XD. Yeah. Last time, you know, we were in that room. I was in that room for, like, a super long time. The entire episode was just in that room. There, there's nothing else. Anyways, this time, well, looks like we're outside now. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the obvious one that's going down and go all the way to... There's nothing there. Alright, this is probably a shortcut then. Alright. Cool. Nice. Let me through. Let me on. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, um... I know there's something coming out of here, right? Nah. All right, well, let's go. Let's continue on through. Where did you come from? Were you just hanging on the cliffside, just waiting for me to pass by? What? Also, why are we back in the magma filled caves? Th none of this makes sense. I'm confused. I have to switch out immediately. No, I don't have Bogano. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. I honestly forgot who I had out in front for a second. <laughs> this is actually pretty easy, but for real though, why are we back inside the magma filled caverns? We're clearly outside. We're like on the cliff cliff edge of like the island or something. I don't know. I also should be skipping this, but like I like I said, I don't remember who has Shadow Pokemon and who doesn't, so. Uh, you're learning stockpile. That doesn't that. <sighs> no, if I remember right, in this game, specifically this generation, you don't get the defense and special defense boost. So no. Oh well, yeah, because because they because um what do you call it? Swallow, spit up, and uh, stockpile all all come together. That makes sense. Who are you gonna get now? Smeargle? Smeargle. Reversal. Oh, I didn't expect that for uh, Yenma. All right, cool. All right, Squink, sludge his face. Ooh, that almost took you out. I was proud. Hey, that poison though. Hey, that poison effect though. Hey, that leftovers. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Are you uh, you have the det detect? No. Why? Better not spam it. Either way, you're dead. Not this turn, but next turn. All right, who you're sending out now? Vile Plume? Wow, you're just sending out all the Pokemon that are weak to fire, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, not protected itself. Did you know? <laughs> Don't you know? Oh my God! Really? You're using an attack again? Why? Vile Plume's dead, though. That's what matters. They had access for eyes. That's how you know it's dead. Anything useful? No. And you're sending out Altaria. Uh, I don't have a counter for that, I don't think. Yenma protected itself. It's dead, though. Whatever. Who are you sending out now? Oh, no. That's it. That's your... This is your last Pokemon. Cool. All 
Alright, it's just fine, it's just fine. It's like half health. I was using Aerial Ace. You know what's funny? It's like, that's a move... Like, I... Like, let me tell you, I was looking into, like, TM locations... ...for some moves, because I was thinking, like, man, Primeape does not learn a lot of good moves other than fighting type. So I was, like, trying to think what I should teach, and it's like, oh, I could teach it Aerial Ace! So, like, I looked it up where it is. And, oh boy... Where it's at is the location that will probably be a part of post-game. It's in, it's on Mount Battle. If you want to guess the area of where on Mount Battle, yeah, yeah like I said, it's post-game. It's post-game, or you could do it now and be super overpowered by the time this game's over. Wow, everyone's being purified. In case you've forgotten who I left in there, that's who I left in there. Alright, uh, let's see here. The rare candy, and I found three of them. I also saw an elevator? Okay, but why? I, I get it. His entire theme is like ghost type, except for that one waylord who was just there being a waylord. I'm curious about something. And I wonder if I missed it because of timing. I'm, I'm super curious. Hold on. Because I see that platform. There's no reason why this is just here. Hold on. I could be wasting my time, but I don't care. Aha! I knew it! Oh, and behind this pillar... It, from the blackness of the void! I finally got this item. It's a max potion. Neat. Alright, don't leave without me. You're my ride. <laughs> Alright, good. Glad I got that out of the way. Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, let me on that. How are they gravitating? Like, there's nothing to indicate that they're just simply floating. They're just floating on their own. Are they being controlled by psychic Pokemon? Like, this isn't Mario. This is like Mario levels of weird platforming. Also, speaking of... <laughs> well, not... Sp I don't even know why. I'm switching party members for a bit. Let's put out Prime Toes. Prime Toes hasn't seen some action since she's been purified. I think there's a reason for that. Oh, where are we now? Oh, look, we're above where we started. How interesting. There's a PB Max, so that's cool. Alright, well, that just shows you how far we've come since, like... Since, you know, we started on this perilous journey. Which also restates my question, why are we back in the magma filled caverns if this is like on the cliff edge? Stuff that doesn't make sense, but probably should. Well, looks like we're back inside. Ah, right, email! Spud, I hope you are well. I have been keeping too. Or keeping well too. I have a message from my partner, Burger Burger. From the both of us, we hope for your success. Aw, oh, thanks, Egan. Thanks, Pikachu! Although you probably shouldn't say burger burger, because I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Do you leave me? You don't leave me there. Oh, the orange will, but I think the orange is on the other side. I can't tell. It is on the other side. How do I get there then? Is there another way that I don't know? <sighs> Scandalous. Either way. Hey, remember that uh, that puzzle we had back at Kaminko's lab? Yeah, guess what? <laughs> Tire walls. So here's another fun fact. I back when I was a kid, this was my first time experiencing this since I didn't explore a lot. So to my surprise, I was like, "What is this? This is cool. I wish there was another area that utilized this." Yeah. Oh, I found the correct path. Oh. But yeah, I didn't realize this was used in another area. But it's just like you would have to explore in an area that you know you have no purpose of being in, other than for story progress. So how do I get to that item? Oh, you know what? I, f I, I remember now. I remember now that, yeah, the, this is something we can't do till later. 
and by later, I mean the next floor. I remember now. Also, kind of like spoilers for like the next floor. <laughs> just, uh, just so you know. Alright, and I think I should be fine, right? Yeah, that will just take me back to some place, right? Right? Where does this go? I didn't bother. Yeah, that just takes me back to the beginning if I wanted to. If I, I, for some reason, need to go back, which so far I don't. It's not like me or B is going to show up out of nowhere to be all like, Hey, buddy, I'm at Real Game Tower. You bring your best Pokemon. Oh, boy. I got another story. Speaking of Real Game Tower. All right, this is going back to the episode where I, uh, where I, um, uh, trained, uh, not trained, but, you know, get, ah, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'll just talk about this guy's like battling me. I think he's important either way, but like still whatever. So like on like the second attempt, the the third round attempt, the third round attempt of trying to get the item which I wanted, which I still need to teach to someone. <laughs> I'm distracting myself, but like it's true. I still need to teach at least something to someone. But um, what do you call it? The first round was against a trainer whose gimmick was to basically boost up her attack and defense thanks to Curse. But one of the Pokemon she has is a Shuckle. And if you don't know, Shuckle is a super defensive Pokemon that has very little attack. And pretty much is the standard definition of a wall. So like I was like, oh, okay, this is Shuckle. I could take care of that easily. I could just poison it. And then that's it. The end. Game over. <laughs> yeah, I poisoned it, all right. Also, hey, look, that Lickitung is a shadow Pokemon. Why is it doing that with this tongue? That's weird. Don't do that. Oh, Prime Toast. Y you could totally take that on. Anyway, it's back to the story. So I did. I poisoned it. But then it healed itself up thanks to rest. So I'm like trying to th think what to do here. Also, he only has three Pokemon. Interesting. Um. So. Yeah. What? Yeah, it healed itself up with rest, and I was just like, oh, okay. Well, that's a bummer. I guess I'll just chip away its health. And it, it apparently in no sleep talk. Which, if you don't know what that is. When someone is sleeping, you could use it, and it randomly picks from three other moves. That's it. And it just spam double team. It spam double team. It spam toxic. The battle went on for like 20 minutes, almost taking out my entire team. And the whole time... <laughs> and I don't know if I just chalked this up to me not being observ uh, uh, not being observant. Or me not just carrying and just mashing the A button until something happens. But like... You know, you, we, we all know that, uh... uh Squink has Shockwave, right? And you know that move doesn't miss. Even when someone's spamming Double Team, it will never miss. <laughs> Don't do that, crit! Oh, Boganone! Oh no, Prime Toast! Uh, maybe having Prime Toast was a bad idea. <laughs> it's like it's like I suddenly realized how squishy Primeape can be, but it's kind of dumb how squishy it can be. So, anyways, the moral of the story is: if you're dealing, if you're playing through the real game tower just for shits and giggles, be aware that there's a shuggle that will spam double team, toxic, and rest. Even when it's asleep. Just know that will still happen. And you will be stuck there for 20 minutes until something happens. Until either you lose or you are lucky enough to beat it. What's even more interesting is like I had a special defense drop on it because of uh Atreus and uh and uh Psychic. So anyways, you see these light-up patterns on the floor? Yeah, if you step on them, 
You'll be taking somewhere. Um, I think this one will take me to where I want to go. Oh no, I fell through the floor! Ah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Luckily, this platform was here to save my butt. Alright, there's another item box here somewhere, and I need to grab it. I think it's it's the one with the light blue, but I don't I didn't see where it leads. Yeah, so anyways, that's what the floor does. So I'll be right back. Alright, I think it could be well, let me get this full heels. And I think it could be this one. I would let you know, but then someone decided to get in my way. Why? Just wasting time! In Stantlers! I just realized Prime Toast is still dead. I'm like, I was like hoping for like a healing machine somewhere close by, but obviously this isn't the case. Also, double intimidate, gross. I mean, fine, jokes on them. They can't hit hard either with their physical moves. But like, still, it's annoying. Oh no, you know hypnosis. Oh no, you know Super Sonic, and you're hitting Pokemon with it. At least it's not Kraymon. We we know we all know what happens when Kraymon gets confused. He keeps hitting himself like over and over again until something dumb happens. Don't hurt yourself. You hurt yourself. Why you hurt yourself? You're gonna get stomped. No, that was Kraymon. Kraymon got stomped. Okay, now you're definitely gonna get stomped. No, it's still Kraymon. Huh, weird. I mean, it's not doing a lot thanks to the double, not double intimidate, but like, thanks to the intimidate in general. Alright, Boganone, you wanna not hit yourself? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> because I don't want you to get KO'd. I also don't wanna deal with that Stantler. <laughs> That Stanler can know hypnosis, which means one or two things. It's just trying to put me to sleep, or it knows Dream Eater. Either way, I don't want to deal with it. All right, who's sitting out now? No, oh, it's a Scyther. Neat. Oh, hey, it's a Shadow Pokemon. I have a question, though. <laughs> Besides Hyper Beam, I have a question, though. Why not a Scizor? Like, trading is impossible until the end game. So, like, why? I'm getting rid of Mudshot. I, as much as I like it, Earthquake's better. Seriously, why not? Why not a Scizor? I think a Scizor would make more sense for your. Like, it will. It will be more useful on your adventure than a Scyther. Also, you have two Shadow Pokemon. Oh! Oh! Okay then! I have to be super careful now. <laughs> Which means one of them might die. At least, at least I have a use for the netball again. Actually, I could just chuck a netball and see what happens. I should do that. I should just chuck a netball, see what happens. Oh, alright, Bogonon's confused. And now, I can't escape. Alright, Scyther's a little weak. We should be fine. But just in case. Uh, alright. Uh, it's a netball. <laughs> I did say that. I did say I was going to start chucking netballs. All right, this should be effective. You're a bug type. <laughs> you get caught in it all the time. That was strangely easy. Don't hurt yourself. Thank you.
I mean, I'm not expecting Chansey to, like, <laughs> to dish out a lot of damage, but, like, oh, this is using Shadow Rave, though. That one's a crit? I think Shadow Rave's gimmick is that, like, it has a high chance of critting. Because it doesn't seem like it's doing a lot either way. Alright, well. Here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna chuck a timer ball. And then out of pure stupidity for myself, we're gonna use Earthquake. You'll see why I say it out of pure stupidity if this doesn't catch the chancy. Wow. You put up one hell of a fight. <laughs> you didn't you didn't you didn't even bother letting it shake twice. You just let it shook once. It's like ah. Okay. That did the amount of damage I thought it would do. All right, Chansey's weakened. <laughs> At what? I should have put over reflect. <laughs> In hindsight, I really should have put over reflect. But you can see why I say it's stupidity. It, well, I forgot about Chansey's pitiful defense. I forgot about that. But I was like more t more talking about like. Uh, you know, Earthquake hitting everyone, including your allies, so I'm also risking damage to Atreus. That's where I was going with that. Also, it seems like we're gonna be here for a while. Chansey actually puts up a fight. So... We're gonna be here for a bit. Chris, as I said that... It gets captured immediately. Because that's how it goes. But what I tell you, third time's a charm. <laughs> Yo, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> you lost. Alright. Okay, so back to my theory. I think it's you. If it's not you, it is you. So what is in here? Found a revive. Hey, that's perfect. I have two Pokemon that are dead that I need to use revives on. But I'm still holding out because I think there's a healing machine up ahead. So <laughs> I'll cut back again to where I was. All right, and I'm back. But this is where we're gonna call this an episode. So if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, we're going further up. I think we're going further up. Yeah, we're going further up. Now, see you guys then.